it all comes down to this the first world cup final of the new millennium europe against south america it is germany against brazil the germans are without arguably their most influential player midfielder michael balak who had started every game of this tournament up until now Bayern Munich's Jens Jeremy starts for only the second time of the tournament. Felipe Scolari was criticised for the style of his team's play in the early days of his reign, but Scolari has delivered in the meantime for Brazil. He has got them into this final. Rudy Fuller, a fine striker in his playing days. Can the German attack pose problems for their illustrious opponent's defence tonight? Germany have scored 14 goals at these finals however eight of them came in one match against Saudi Arabia it is the 30th of June 2002 a date with destiny for Germany and Brazil and even if it takes extra time even if it takes a penalty shootout one way or the other one of these nations is going to be crowned world champions this evening Remarkably, given their long, proud histories of these competitions, this is the first time that Germany and Brazil have ever faced each other at a World Cup. Ronaldinho immediately on the attack for Brazil. And the challenge by Thomas Linka. Quarter for the South Americans. In Ronaldo and Oliver Kahn, we have arguably the best striker in the competition against the best goalkeeper. Header sails over Karsten Ramelov. Gilberto Silva, the Athletic Mineiro midfielder, looking for his first goal at this World Cup. Brazil hoping to claim their fifth World Cup title after the agony of losing the final four years ago in France. Brazil won't be taking anything for granted here this evening. Michael Ballack, a huge miss for Germany. He had scored three goals en route to this final, but misses out due to suspension. Balak got the winners in each of the quarterfinal and the semi-final for Germany. One goal was all that was needed in those games. One goal could be enough for the Europeans tonight. Oliver Neuville, Bayer Leverkusen, 30th international cap for him tonight. And here is Cleverson taking advantage of a hesitation by Yerebes, but Oliver Kahn has it covered. Brazil reached this final by beating England in the quarters and Turkey in the semi-final. Ronaldo scored the winner against the Turks. That was the only goal of the game. Cafu, who remarkably is playing in a third consecutive World Cup final. Winner in 94 in America, runner-up in Paris four years ago. And now Cafu, captain of Brazil in 2002. Lucio, one of his defensive partners, knows all about German football, lives in Germany. Plays with Bayer Leverkusen. Teammate of Brent Schneider here is in possession. And Roberto Carlos with an important touch as that came across the penalty area. Frink sees it out knowing it will be a German throw. Frings to Ramelov. Thorsten Frings who's played every minute of this World Cup for Germany. There's only two outfield players who've done so. Frings and Linke. This is Rivaldo. Unable to pick out Cleverson. First World Cup to be held outside Europe and the Americas. Is it going to end up with a European or a South American winner? Here is 
Ronaldinho, who's been one of the stars of the tournament so far. Cafu, 110th cap for him tonight. Ronaldo chasing the tournament's golden boot. Roberto Carlos to Rivaldo of Barcelona with a quick feet. Brazil finding their tempo and rhythm. Good challenge needed to be. Thomas Linke winning it back for Germany, who've now been awarded a free kick. Yeah, Luigi Colina laying down the law early on. It is a booking for Rocky Jr., the AC Milan defender. Sixth appearance of this World Cup for Roque Jr. Lincoln. Searching from Ramelov. Towards Miroslav Klose, who is Germany's top scorer of the tournament so far. He's got five goals here in Japan and Korea. One fewer than Ronaldo on the opponent's side tonight. Brent Schneider, who started every game of this World Cup for Germany to take. He needs eyes on the back of his head here to keep tabs of a, a very busy penalty area. Rehearsed move for the Germans. Brazil's defence stands for sheer weight of numbers ensuring the shot doesn't get through to the goal. Neuville. Schneider shepherded out by Roberto Carlos. If Brazil do win here tonight, they will become the first nation to ever win the World Cup on five occasions. German win we would see them draw level with Brazil as the two nations to have won it the most often. So far, Brazil have lifted the World Cup four times, Germany three. Now this is Cleverson. Taking advantage of some sloppy German defending. Third start of the World Cup for Cleverson. Janinho had become the first four games in midfield alongside Gilberto Silva, but Cleverson has now started each match since the quarterfinal. the Roma defender they were runners up in Italy they see so behind the winners Juventus 24th game in charge of Brazil for Luis Felipe Scolari closes knee into the small of the back of Cafu again Closer involved in an aerial battle. And had Milson intimating that he was caught in the face by Miroslav Closer. And Germany's star striker has shown a yellow card early in the match. Kalina pointing to his elbow, implying that that's what the German led with, and he did. Elbow into the face of rugged Brazilian defender Ed Milson. Ed Milson, who plays his club football in France with Lyon. They won the French Championship this season. Very important player for Scolari. Ed Milson, he's tough on the back, but he also brings the ball into the midfield for his team. Temporarily, Brazil will play with 10 men while Ed Milson gets patched back up. Scored a goal of this tournament, Ed Milson. It came in Brazil's 5-2 win against Costa Rica in the group stage. 
This is Neuvel. This is a very good tournament. Runs into a defender at Germany. Keep the forward momentum going here. There are two waiting in the penalty area. In comes the cross from Schneider. Brave goalkeeping from Marcos, assisted by Ed Nielsen. Encouraging signs for the German coach, Rudi Voller. Nice interplay with Schneider. Able to look up before delivering the cross. His target was closer. And Brazil relieved to hear the referee's whistle, a foul on Lucio. And a free kick to the South Americans. Hat trick against Saudi Arabia in the group stages for Miroslav Klose. Ten minutes in, and it is still scoreless in the World Cup final. Ramelov's header. Neuvel, good tackle from Gilberto Silva. He's made quite a name for himself at this tournament. Brazil's number eight. Neuvel, who's played in all but one of Germany's games at this World Cup. This is Rocky Jr. Aman in the midfield, down for Frings. Germany unable to keep it on the field of play. Before this World Cup, Germany had a lot of injury problems. Sebastian Deisler was due to be one of their star players here. He was ruled out with a knee injury. Picked it up just two days before the German squad left for Japan. Mehmet Scholl, Christian Verns, Jens Novotny. They all missed out on the final 23 due to injury. Valdo, who's had a very good tournament so far. Five goals for the Barcelona man at this World Cup. Ed Nielsen. Good pressure from Neuvel. Germany profit from that pressure. Closes in the middle. Neuvel unable to deliver the cross. Cleverson. Tackle closer. And this is Frings. It's been a high tempo start for Germany. Hammer. The build up many feeling that the Germans would sit back and defend Brazil, but they are taking the game to the South Americans in the early stages. Neat footwork from Roberto Carlos to clear away. Harmon plays his club football in England with Liverpool. Metzelder, Borussia Dortmund from Marco Boda. However, whistle was blown. who started all seven games for Brazil at this World Cup so far. He's made some important saves along the way. Neuvel jumping into the defender, Rocket Jr. there. His eyes weren't on the ball at all. Free kick to Brazil. Pierluigi Colina widely recognised as the world's best referee. A fitting official for a game on this stage. Ronaldo, who's not been given a sniff so far. Karsten Ravalov right on top of Ronaldo. It's a disappointing game four years ago in the World Cup final in Paris, hoping for better things tonight in Japan. This is Cleverson, who has had a bright start to the game of the Brazil midfield. Header away by Lincoln. 
Lucio for Brazil. He's got to lose it here. Chance of a counter attack. Closer. Doesn't have much support at the moment. Schneider. That's lovely. Back into closer. Real chance for Germany. Bert Schneider looking every bit of Brazilian himself with that skill to get into the crossing position. Closer in search of his sixth goal of the competition. Neuvel's corner. Away just about. Hamann. Great first touch from Schneider. And taken down by Roberto Carlos, so that is a free kick to Germany in an att attacking position. Well, he's renowned for his powerful shot, his silky skills, Roberto Carlos, but he knows how to get stuck in defensively and do the mean stuff as well. Jostling for position. Roberto Carlos did great work as a one-man wall to block that free kick at source and ensure it didn't get into the penalty area. Roque Jr. Ronaldo, this is Ronaldinho now. German defenders afraid to lunge in, their patience rewarded. Boda's clearance up towards Metzelder. Closer, cleverly leaves it for Neuville. Tackled by Cafu and fouled by the Brazil captain. It's been a no-nonsense start for the Brazil defence. They are not taking prisoners in the early stages. They don't want to give Germany an inch. Schneider to take the free kick. Disappointing. Ronaldinho to Cleverson. Now they'll try to stretch the German defence with Ronaldo. And he's unfortunate, the Inter Milan striker. Very animated Luis Felipe Scolari in the early stages. Roberto Carlos unable to pick out Rivaldo. Roberto Carlos, who had a disappointing season domestically with Real Madrid. They finished outside the top two in Spain. Deportivo La Coruña ahead of them in second, and champions Valencia. Now hoping for silverware on the international stage. This is Ronaldinho for Ronaldo! What an opportunity! Brazil's number nine. Nine times out of ten, he would have put that away. It is undoubtedly the clearest cut opportunity of this World Cup final so far. Ronaldinho, precision of the pass for Ronaldo, who just seemed to snatch at it. Not the comfortable, smooth finish we would expect from one of the world's deadliest strikers. An early let off, perhaps, for Germany. Thomas Linke of Bayern Munich. Forward by Frings to Neuville. Harman. Back by Jons Jeremies. This is Torsten Frings. Jeremies has come into the midfield in the absence of the suspended Michael Ballack.
Matt Selden. Boda. All the pressure from Cafu. And just well to hold on to it. Marco Boda, Verde Bremen. Lincoln. Harmon. Brazil, when they don't have possession, working very hard to limit the opportunities for Germany. Header by Edmilson. Harmon. Lovely touch. It's Roberto Carlos. Anywhere will do. Forward from Ramelov. Decent hook from closer. He was trying to pick out Neuvel. Confident play from Lucio. Ronaldo almost back to Lucio. That was a barnstorming run. Now he's out of position as Germany tried to counter it. This time the foul from Ed Milson on closer. Two who clashed earlier in the game. Elbow from closer on Ed Milson. And a little bite back from the layout defender there. Eighteenth cap for his country tonight for the 25-year-old Ed Milson. Schneider to take the free kick. Hammond was stretching. That will be a foul and a free kick to Brazil. And it has been a busy opening quarter of the match for the Italian referee. Emperor Akito, the 125th Emperor of Japan, looking on. It has been a wonderful tournament, the first in Asia stage between Japan and Korea. Such wonderful hosts in both nations. This is Neuville. Unable to shrug off the attentions of Lucio. Two Bayer Leverkusen teammates facing up to each other there. Gets the ball cleanly initially, Lucio. watch for Rudy Voller and the frustrated figure of Michael Balak three goals at this tournament for Germany only Miroslav Klose has scored more for the team and yet he is forced to be a spectator he picked up two yellow cards in the knockout stages Rivaldo's flick on Dino unable to get there. This is Hammer. Dino Hammer beaten by, well, initially by Rookie Jr., but Germany get it back. Schneider to Frings. Good ball for Frings. Closer was rising. Good spell this from Germany. Boda taking on Cafu. Expert defending. From Brazil's captain. But no doubt about it, Germany are asking questions of their South American opponent so far. Neuville's been busy in the early stages. One goal for him at this tournament. 
Lucio not taking his eyes off closer. Marcos Tolomé coming for that, then he retreated the goalkeeper. Wilson's got a problem with his left knee. Another coach would want to be forced into an early change in a game like this. Tactical instructions between the coach and the captain. Down goes Ronaldinho, no free kick. Strong in the air from Rocky Jr. This is Cleverson to Roberto Carlos. With a Brazilian flair from Cleverson. Rivaldo. Cleverson. Better movement now from Brazil. Roberto Carlos. Away by Lincoln. Rocky Jr. Asking an awful lot of Cafu, ultimately asking too much. But some signs of invention from Brazil. So far in the game, just one big chance created for Ronaldo, which he put wide. Flying header from Rocket Jr. Dino's been well shackled in the early stages. The Paris Saint Germain playmaker. He was suspended for the semi final after the red card against England back in tonight. Frings held up by Roberto Carlos, who felt it should have been a Brazilian throw. Springs. Boda just wasn't able to control it on the edge of the D. Three German central defenders have played most of the games alongside each other for Karsten Ramelov. He has missed two of the matches along the way, but. Metzelder and Lincoln have been ever presence in the starting 11s from Rudy Voller in Japan. Metzelder hooking it clear. Helped on by Bowden. Closer beaten by the bounce, but well anticipated by Neuvel. Into Schneider. Now some space is opened up for Bowden here, but a disappointing first touch. He could have been in. Cafu relieved to be given the chance to clear away. Good build-up though from Germany, you've got to say. Down goes Ronaldo been a frustrating evening so far for the Inter Milan striker here come Brazil again Ronaldo Ronaldinho back to Ronaldo he's in here Oliver Kahn makes the save huge chance for Brazil Again, set up by Ronaldinho. But it wasn't a clean shot from Ronaldo. 
That's two he's had now. Close it. And he will take the corner. Last touch off Ed Mielsen. This is the sort of opportunity that are normally food and drink to Ronaldo. Just wanted to nudge it beyond Khan. But he's stretching, it's just a toe, he gets to it. Needed better to beat the outstanding goalkeeper of the tournament. Neuvel's delivery, punched by Marcos, good goalkeeping. Ronaldo's the only one who stayed up for Brazil. Half an hour played. No goals in Yokohama, in front of 70,000 in the stadium. An enormous worldwide global TV audience. This is the largest of all these stadia being used at this 2002 World Cup between Korea and Japan. Fitting venue for the big decider. Ronaldinho, unable to pick out Ronaldo, good defending from Ramanov. Ronaldinho gets it back. And between them, Rivaldo and Roberto Carlos left it for each other. Austin Frings happy to nip in and win it back for Germany. Rivaldo to Ronaldinho. Cafu. Gilberto Silva. Okay, Junior on to Roberto Carlos. More fluid movement now from Brazil. They're beginning to settle into this World Cup final. Two big opportunities presented for Ronaldo already from Scolari's team. Good anticipation. Does Germany get it back again? Dibar Hammer. Dino, who has not had much space tonight with Metz Elder, as close to him as possible. Inexperienced international Christoph Metz Elder, but he has come into his own at this tournament. Just 21 years of age. Gilberto Silva. Okay, Junior. Now Ronaldo. Cafu, great first touch of the chest. And Marco Boda had to be on high alert to clear away. No hanging around for the Brazilians. Keep the uppies from Rivaldo. Closer gave it away rather cheaply. Lucio wasn't able to keep it on the field of play. Throw it to Germany. Ronaldinho, who has created both of the big chances for Ronaldo. He's been on the receiving end of some heavy treatment as well. Very much a marked man. If you can stop Ronaldinho, you've got a very good chance of stopping Brazil.
Ronaldinho. Mesmeric footwork at times. This is Rivaldo. Now Ronaldo. Heavy first touch invited the challenge. And Lincoln lunged it. Roberto Carlos. Ronaldinho. Haaland with the crunching tackle. That's very good. That will give the Germans a lift. Well executed, well timed from Di Marama. Ramelov. And again, Karsten Ramelov. By an Evacusa defender looking for his first goal of this World Cup. This is Brent Schneider. He's done well against Gilberto da Silva, who battled back. And it will be a corner to Germany. He's picked up a lot of admirers of this tournament, Gilberto Silva. Real evidence there of how committed Germany have been to attacking in this first half. Five corners compared to Brazil's one so far. Whistle had been blown before the ball came in. All sorts of pushing and shoving going on in there. Thomas Linka, a judge to be committing the foul. Wasted opportunity for Rudy Fuller's team. They've got to be more careful in those attacking set-piece situations. Roberto Carlos. Rivaldo. No fouls as the referee. Closer. Frings. Now Ramelov. Harmon. Germany's throw. Schneider back to Frings. Roberto Carlos with the lunging, sliding tackle. Free kick given to Brazil for the secondary foul. On Rivaldo, that will be painful. This is Roberto Carlos. Ronaldo dropping deep, trying to find some space. Unable to get on to the receiving end of the 1 2 from Rivaldo. The enemies. Foul by Rivaldo. It's been a bit scrappy the past few minutes. Succession of fouls from either team. Stakes so high in Yokohama. Nobody wants to make the mistake that might lead to the concession of the opening goal. Harmon. Ronaldinho. Really good tracking back from Neuville. High octane, high energy player. Lincoln, who is the oldest of the defenders in this German team. Can, who's only conceded once at this tournament so far. Robbie Keane's goal for the Republic of Ireland in the group stage. It's 
some boos and cheers from Brazilian fans, some neutral Japanese as well as Germany adopt a conservative approach now. Half time approaches in this World Cup final 2002 and again it's safety first for Germany. Five minutes to go until the break. Frings for once was able to brush off the attentions of Roberto Carlos, but he couldn't get away from Ed Bielsen. Frings. It's not a bad ball in. Neuvel will look to keep it alive here. Cafu backpedalling away from it. Jeremy steadies himself. Needed more composure with the shot. Jens Jeremy's on his 33rd international cap. Looking for his first goal of this World Cup, the Bayern Munich midfielder. Well, he's a long way out, but he had a lot of time to steady himself. He'll be disappointed to have missed the target by such a wide margin. Looking for Cleverson. Statuesque defending for the Germans. Cleverson, just like Ronaldo with the earlier chances, unable to hit the target. Super ball played forward from Cafu there, though. And it was like the German defenders were leaving it to each other to pick him up. Cleverson not catching it quite as sweetly as he would have wished. Yeremis. This is Ramalov. Now Metzelder. there to be a break in the deadlock in Yokohama before half-time. will be Germany's throw. Certainly the more clear-cut of the opportunities have been for Brazil in this first half so far. Schneider has fouled again. Germany keen to get on with it. Buda. Cleverson hooks it on. Unable to find Ronaldo. Frings outside of the right boot. Closer, who has found himself outnumbered on several occasions with inside the penalty area. Haman runs it to Roberto Carlos, follows through into it free kick awarded to Brazil Ronaldinho Cleverson this is Ronaldo Rivaldo Ronaldinho again that's better, and a shot for Cleverson, and it's hit the crossbar. Undoubtedly the closest we've come to an opening goal in the World Cup final. Cleverson, who scuffed a shot wide a few minutes ago. Oh, he was much, much closer there. A shot perhaps worthy of a goal in a World Cup final.
Cafu. Lincoln with the header away. This is Frings. One of his less favourite left boot is given it straight to Lucio. Roberto Carlos, Brazil spending more time in the German half now. Cafu keeps it alive. Lucio might have left it for Ronaldinho. He wants a quarter. Oliver Kahn's not happy with that. He thought it was a goal kick. Brazil turning up the heat as we move into the one minute being added on for stoppages at the end of the first half in Yokohama. Rivaldo's delivery. Cafu. Ronaldinho peeling away, looking for space. This is Roberto Carlos. This is Ronaldo! Denied by Oliver Kahn. It's become a personal battle between those two. Ronaldo of Brazil, Kahn of Germany. No break in the deadlock as the whistle goes for half-time. That was Cleverson's effort. That's as close as we've come to a goal. It was dipping perfectly towards the top corner. Germany mightily relieved to hear it smack off the woodwork. This was the late chance right at the end. Ronaldo swiveling, but he doesn't tuck it in the corner, does he? Straight in Oliver Kahn. He clears away with his legs. This is why Kahn has got so many rave reviews of this tournament. A goalkeeper who is proving extremely difficult to beat. Second half to come, for now in Yokohama, Germany nil, Brazil nil. There are five key steps to tackling the coronavirus. Hands, elbow, face, distance and feel. Comece pelas mãos. Por favor, lave as mãos com frequência usando sabão ou gel desinfetante. With your elbows bent, please cover your nose and mouth if you sneeze or cough. If using tissues, dispose of them immediately. Respecto a la cara, evita tocarte tus ojos, nariz y boca, así puedes evitar que el virus entre en tu cuerpo. Si vous vous sentez mal, restez chez vous et suivez scrupuleusement les consignes des autorités sanitaires. Back underway then, after a first half that delivered three good chances for Ronaldo in Brazil, but he wasn't able to take any of them. Cleverson did hit the crossbar as well. Germany probably quite relieved to hear that whistle for the break. They've had 15 minutes in the changing room with Rudy Voller. Can the Germans come up with a master plan here for the second half? No changes in personnel over the break. Same complement of 11 players that began the match. All square in the World Cup final. Germany nil, Brazil nil. Germany right at the start of the second half, earning themselves a corner.
Played in by Neuville, and there's a header, and it's saved by Marcos from Yeremis. I think Ed Mielsen in front of the goalkeeper might have got an important touch there. Really, that's Germany's best opportunity of this final so far. Right at the start of the second half. And a let off for Brazil. Rocky Jr. Gets it back from Rivaldo. Here is Ronaldo. Ramalov stretched out a leg, got a brief touch to it. Cleverson was following up. This is Marco Boda. Gilberto Silva. Ronaldinho. He was just beginning to pull the strings of the game as the whistle blew for half time. Yerabis. Hasn't been an instance of the game yet when Germany have got in behind the Brazil defence. And Milson has marshaled his troops well in that regard. Here comes Roberto Carlos. But the ball beats him to the sideline. Well, this was the chance for Yerebis, and it was Ed Milson just in front of the goalkeeper. Stretching out that right boot, ensuring the keeper didn't have to make the save. Schneider picking up this latest free kick for Germany. Such has been the tense atmosphere, tight pattern of the play. Could be just one goal that's needed to win this final. Brazil's wall being instructed to go back the full 10 yards. It's a hell of a way out here. And a crack for Neuville, it's hit the post! Incredible free kick! Well, it didn't seem likely that he would even attempt that, such was the distance. With everyone expecting a cross to be delivered, look at the power on this. Bending away from Marcos, I think it brushed the back of Roque Jr. on the way through. It's a great save, fingertips from the goalkeeper, onto the woodwork. Germany could hardly have come closer to taking the lead. In from Ramelov. And again. This is Frings. Lovely footwork to elude Roberto Carlos. Frings crosses straight into Rocket Jr. though. He'll get another chance. And Rocket Jr. sticks doggedly to the task at the expense of another corner. Nielsen sticking like glue to Boda. Schneider's corner. Here he is again, Bert Schneider. Nice swing of the hips. Chance maybe as Metzelder gets it caught between his own legs. And there's nobody in that left channel. Haman arrives late, but no one in a shooting position earlier for Germany. Ozier needed when they get to the final third. Seventeenth time that Brazil have taken part in one of these tournaments. They are the only country to have played in every one of FIFA's World Cups. 
They have won all their games in this tournament so far as well. No team's ever won seven out of seven at a World Cup of the past. Cleverson here looking for Ronaldo. This is dangerous for Germany. He's got Rivaldo in the middle. Ronaldo shielded out for another Brazil corner. In from Roberto Carlos, saved by Kahn. Oliver Kahn. Brave when he needed to be for Germany. The header down by Gilberto Silva. Can keeps it nil nil. Chances at both ends now in the second half. Still scoreless in Yokohama. Kafu. Rivaldo. Here is Ronaldo, up to the right boot. Good challenge, Ramelov. Tried to open up his body. The chances continue to fall for Brazil's number nine. Close it. Put it one side of Rocket Jr. and collected around the other side. He's got some support with him as well. Miroslav Closer. Oh dear. Germany's top scorer at this World Cup. Well off target with that one. German substitutes out for a warm up. Boda to Brent Schneider. <laughs> Germany came through Group E earlier in this tournament. They beat Saudi Arabia 8-0. They drew 1-1 with the Republic of Ireland, then beat Cameroon two goals to nil. Here is Closer. It's in front of Frings. Plenty of power, just couldn't keep it down. Maybe the other side overcame Paraguay in the second round. And a 1-0 win over USA in the quarterfinals before that highly charged semi against the Coho South Korea. Long journey that has delivered the Germans here to Yokohama for this World Cup final. Frings. They've played 10 minutes in the second half. Roberto Silva for Roberto Carlos. Lucio. Ronaldinho. The scoop ball forward from Ronaldinho, but unable to pick out Rivaldo. He's got wonderful vision, Ronaldinho. Doesn't always look for the straightforward pass, he's got other things in mind. But now Brazil need to defend, and Roberto Carlos does just that. Ramelov. Frings. Chance to look up. 
much too high for closer. With each passing minute, the tension ratchets up another notch. Ahmed, first touch was good! Couldn't keep the shot under control. Dietmar Hammond of Liverpool looking for his first goal of this World Cup. He took the leather off the ball, a blazing shot. More accuracy required. from Metzelder, picked up by Gilberto Silva. This is Ronaldinho to Cleverson. Now Cafu. Yerabiz with the sliding challenge. Nielsen, unflustered under pressure. Rivaldo claims there was a handball there, and the referee agrees. Now this is a free kick to Brazil, within shooting distance, something they've not really had in the game so far. Hammond's outstretched right arm. Now Brazil have plenty of candidates who would fancy their chances from this sort of range. Germany have worked hard in the game throughout not to give away a free kick in this sort of territory. Can they defend this one? One goal conceded at the tournament so far. Rivaldo certainly interested in the left footed delivery. Ronaldo standing there, poised to hit it with his right. And it is Ronaldo, and the wall does its job. Ronaldinho. Ramelov's header. Brazil relieved to hear that whistle. A free kick for their team and a chance to clear away. Hearts were in mouths just for a moment. Ronaldo unable to get it past the German wall. Ronaldinho. Good work from Ramelov. Things sliding in. Roberto Carlos got the first touch there. Played it off the German for a Brazilian throw. Cleverson, Ronaldo, swarmed upon by German defenders, bonus clearance, Cafu, Ronaldinho back to Cafu, bit of room for the Brazilian captain, well it's a cross into a very dangerous location, but none of his teammates were on the same wavelength to get on the end of it. Really good chance for Brazil. Picked up a lot of friends upon the way. Change of shirt for Ed Milson.
having quite the battle with his uh, outfit is Ed Nielsen here he's got it on back to front inside out the whole lot <laughs> Kalina can't quite believe what he's seeing with the eyes of the planet upon him Ed Nielsen finally gets his shirt on the right way Ramelov Rivaldo in pursuit of this, Ramelov hesitated initially, but he knew just what he was doing. He's having a fine World Cup final, Karsten Ramelov of Bayer Leverkusen, Germany's number five. This is Thorsten Frings. Schneider. Good ball from Schneider. Stretching was Neuville. He has been a busy presence in the German attack. Always looking to get on the end of something. Remember, one way or the other, we will get a winner in this World Cup final tonight, even if it takes extra time, even if it goes to penalties. One of these teams are taking the World Cup home with them this evening. Problem for Yeremis. And he twirls his fingers around to suggest he will need to be changed. Yeremis and Cafu, full blooded challenge. Well, I don't think there's any nastiness there. They're both intent on getting the ball. Yeremis, who's in the team because of the suspended Michael Balak. Germany might well be forced into a change here. It's the follow-through collision. Cafu's straggling leg, if you like, into the knee of Jens Jeremies. Schneider's ball earlier for Neuville. Oh, he was a hair's breadth away. Any touch at all, it could have guided it beyond Marcos. Those are the tiny, tiny margins of which this World Cup final could be decided. Germany weighing up whether this substitution does need to take place can they patch up Jens Jeremies and enabled him to continue still showing from Cafu at the end of it Sebastian Kiel the Borussia Dortmund player who's being sent to warm up. I think the enemies might be okay. It's only the second time Yeremis has started a game of this tournament. He's come on as a substitute in all the other matches. So he's been involved right the way through. None of these players would like to be forced to an early exit from a game of this importance. Twenty-five minutes of normal time to go. Both teams have hit the woodwork in the game. But 
We still await the opening call. Jelabis is fit to continue. It's good news for Germany. Gilberto Silva. Oh, it's a good ball. Ronaldo. Ran into Lincoln. Hammond. Ronaldo with tenacity wins it back again. This is Rivaldo. It's been slipped by Khan. And following up, Ronaldo puts Brazil into the lead of the World Cup final. Germany nil, Brazil won, and it's that man again. Rivaldo's shot seem tame. Oliver Kahn, normally so dependable, but he spilt it into the path of Brazil's number nine, who for the seventh time at this World Cup reels away in celebration this goal though is the most important of the lot seven goals in seven matches those are the standards delivered by Ronaldo Ronaldo has now scored as many goals of this World Cup for Brazil as he did this season in Syria out for his club Inter he had an injury curtailed campaign. Only 10 appearances in Serie A. Scored seven goals in those matches. He's now got seven goals at this World Cup. And a testing time for Rudy Voller. Germany, if they are to lift the World Cup, they need to come from behind in this final. Took its time in coming, but the goal very much has arrived to Brazil. Ronaldo involved in the build up to the goal. It was he who challenged Haman to win back possession for his team. Frings. Oh, he's a long way out, that is speculative. Still enough time for Germany, they don't have to go completely held for leather yet. That was a shot born out of frustration from Freaks. Scolari trying to keep calm on the outside, but his heart must be beating against his ribcage. After the disappointment in Paris four years ago, is this to be Brazil's night? Leverson, full of hard running all night. Yeah, he tried a very Brazilian back heel, but it was anticipated by Metzelder. Schneider up to close it. Okay, Junior gets it off him. Now this is Frings. Better away by Lucio. As long as Brazil don't concede, the World Cup is theirs. Hammond, who gave away the ball in the build-up to the goal. It's a really good turn. Ronaldinho was left for dead there. Shot away off target from Jens Jeremies. One goal can get Germany back into it. Neuvel's cross, punched by Marcos. Germany remain on the attack. Metzelder trying to plant himself in front of the goalkeeper. 
Special blow that was pushing in there as the corner came in. Reprieve for Brazil under German pressure. Roberto Carlos to the goal scorer, Ronaldo. Cleberson. Lucio leaves it for Cleberson. They don't throw many leads away, Brazil. Can they hold on to this one? Lucio has got such a long way here. Linker clears it away for Germany. Harman. Acrobatically cut out. This is Rivaldo. Ronaldinho to Roberto Carlos. Brazil taking extra care in possession now. If they can hold on to the ball, if they can keep it down this end, it makes it all the more difficult for Germany to get back into it. Poor ball from Ronaldo there, giving it up cheaply to Germany. Ramanov. Frings. Some activity down on the bench, that's Beroff, Oliver Beroff, German striker. Might as well go for it now. Inside the final 20 minutes. Germany prepared to bring on a new striker. It will be closer than he replaces. So Rudi Fuller takes off his sole striker to replace him with Berhoff. Mirosaf closer will not be adding to the five goals he has scored at this tournament so far. Oliver Berov has found the back of the net once in Japan. <laughs> Yeremis. Straight to Cafu. Ronaldinho runs into Harman. Good play for the German number eight. Frings. Linker. Good turn from Schneider. Plenty of guile in this German team. Can they work their way back into it? Neuvel, clever header. Frings had time to steady himself. Very much a right-footed player, Thorsten Frings. He had a crack with the left boot there. Germany remain on the attack for now. Chances didn't fall for closer. Can Germany create one for Beerhoff? Neuvel. Away by Roque Jr. Picked up by Dietmar Hamann. Quarter of an hour to play. It'll be a free kick to Germany midway inside the Brazil half. Foul on Netzel there. Man is giving it the big run up. Needed more power. Metzelder. Didn't come for Bearoff. Ronaldo back helping out the midfield. 
This is Ramalov. Good ball. Berov. Held up on the edge of the penalty area. One of the Berov is deemed to be fouling his opponent there. Free kick to Brazil. This was Ronaldo winning the ball off Deep Mohamed in the build up to the goal. And he followed it in. He didn't just sit back and admire his handiwork. He was there on hand when it was spilt by Cam. The hunger of Brazil's number nine. The determination and the persistence rewarded. That is what it means to big Phil Scolari. Germany make another change. Yenemis replaced by Asamoa. It's the third time in this tournament that Gerald Asamoah has come on as a change. He's only had a handful of minutes, actually, of game time on the pitch at this tournament. Can he deliver something a little bit different for the Germans as they try to get back into it at 1-0 down? Asamoah of Schalke. This is Ronaldinho. Good ball. Knew instinctively where Rivaldo would be. Taken off his toe by Ronaldo. Now Roberto Carlos. Swift movement. And Asamoa, who's no slouch himself, gets his first touch since coming on. Running out for Germany, we have just over 10 minutes of normal time to go. Sooner or later, they are going to have to throw the kitchen sink at this. Here comes Cleverson. Brazil certainly not sitting back, just defending. Rivaldo leaves it for Ronaldo! Well, that could be it! Two goals for Brazil, both from Ronaldo, and Germany are in big, big trouble now. It's only the third time he's been beaten in this tournament, Oliver Kahn. Twice tonight, and both from the boot of Ronaldo. So clever from Rivaldo to allow it past his body. And after the disappointment of four years ago in Paris, Ronaldo takes his moment to shine in a World Cup final. It puts him in pole position for the tournament golden boot, his eighth goal in seven games. Harman, Schneider, Is there enough time left for Germany? Lincoln. Too high for Berhoff. There were only 12 minutes between the two Ronaldo goals. And just like that, Germany's chances of winning this World Cup appear to be going up in smoke. Third final they've been in in a row. Oh, Brazil to make it two wins out of three. Cleverson, who was very much involved in the build up for that second Brazilian goal. One nil, always a fragile lead. Brazil have now got themselves a cushion. It has completely changed the dynamic of the game.
Boda. Brazil have plenty of numbers back. Cafu concedes the corner. If Germany could get one back now, it would set up a very thrilling finale. Delivery came in rather early. I'm not sure all the German players were ready for that. Here on the edge of the area is Linke. Lucio is the player who's down. Frustrating stoppage for Germany as they try to mount a comeback. Scolari looks to defend the lead that Brazil have so carefully earned. Lucio will take the offer of the stretcher. Here's the Samba party in Yokohama, about to kick it to full flow. Lucio immediately off the stretcher, immediately wanting to get back into the fray. This is Asamoa. Needed more elevation on the cross. Lincoln. Frings. Bearhoff! Oh, what a chance! That's what he's been waiting for. Oliver Bearhoff, firm shot to the bottom corner. Wonderful save from Marcos. This is Schneider now. You can't take your eyes off this. Haman oh unable to keep it down and keep it on target. This was the chance. Bearhoff. That is a world class save from a goalkeeper who might be about to become a World Cup winner. Germany have one final throw of the dice, their third substitution. Marco Bode has run himself into the ground on the left. He's replaced by Christian Zieger. Plays in England with Tottenham. Comes on for his fifth appearance in this World Cup. He's played in all but two of the games. Brazil preparing a change of their own. A little Janinho. Just over five minutes to go. So Janinho, oh, Flamengo, creative midfield player. Started the first four games for Brazil at this World Cup before the quarter-final. Cleverson came in against England and has kept his place since then. Which is interesting. The flair of Ronaldinho is sacrificed. What a game he's had. Juco lead established for his team as Ronaldinho departs and Juninho set on to reinforce the midfield to protect the ball for Brazil. Slightly hesitant defending. Netzelder might have been able to pounce there at the back post. Oh, he is a swing of a boot away from getting one back for Germany there. Reality beginning to sink in for the Germans who have travelled so far to the Far East to watch their team in this World Cup final. But into the final five minutes now, and the two goals from Ronaldo have given Brazil a very sturdy lead. Germany in need of a miracle from here. Oh, Frings has given it away to Juninho. Fresh legs having just come on. He's pushed it too far in front of Rivaldo. Third goal for Brazil, and it absolutely would be all over for sure. Fouled by Roberto Carlos, free kick to Germany. Schneider. Back from Bearhoff. Schneider out to Ziga, who's just come on. 
Asamoah at the back post. And Roberto Carlos, where he needed to be for Brazil. No time to waste for the Germans. Ramelov. Whistle was blown as the ball was in flight on the way in. Sixty-sixth cap for Christian Zuger. He's an experienced international. Lucio with an inordinately long run-up. Brazil try to run down the clock. Ramelov's header. Away by Roberto Carlos. Into the next prefecture. Anywhere will do now. Brazil so close to World Cup victory, they can almost reach out and touch it. Janinho. Haman gets it off him, but illegally. Free kick Brazil, that's what Janinho was brought on to do. If it stays like this, it will be the fourth occasion and Germany would have lost a World Cup final, that would be a tournament record. Brazil, who were written off before this World Cup, really struggled in their qualifying, but that poor campaign seems such an eternity ago now. You can imagine the scenes in the big Brazilian city, Rio de Janeiro. Sao Paulo, this football crazed country is, it seems, about to get its hands on the sport's greatest prize once again. Instant divine inspiration from those in the crowd. Ramelov came up into the air off the head of Metzelder. Final change, it would appear for Brazil, Danielson, the Real Betis swinger. As we slip into the additional time to be added on at the very end of the game, the 90th minute in Yokohama. Germany nil, Brazil to both goals from Ronaldo, the two-time World Player of the Year. And it is Ronaldo who makes way. There won't be a hat-trick for him in this final, but surely his goals have been enough. Job done now, he could take the standing ovation. Danielson comes on for his 53rd cap. But after all the upset of four years ago, when Ronaldo clearly wasn't in the right frame of mind for the World Cup final at Paris, he has returned tonight to the biggest stage in football. Surely he's about to come away victorious. Danielson goes down. Good tackle by Karsten Ramelow. It is a night when Brazil have re-established themselves as the powerhouse when Ronaldo has re-established himself as the greatest striker in the world. Eight goals from Ronaldo at this World Cup. Three minutes away from glory. Ziga. Metzel there. Even if the Germans were to get one now, it wouldn't be enough. Rivaldo, good tackle by Ramelov, Janinho's following up with a quick feet. Fring sliding in to stop him, Germany needed down the other end, Ziga. Neuvel, 
One chance they created for Bearoff, but he was denied by the Brazilian goalkeeper Marcos. Neuville with that free kick. Hit the post, remember. Well, that's really as close as Germany have come in the entire game. Bearoff shrugged off the ball by Roque Jr. The Samba beats. Now the dominant rhythm. Brazil on the cusp of greatness. Here is Danielson to put the cherry on top. Chininho stretches and won't get there. Metzelder clears for Germany. Frings to Ziga. Schneider encourages Christian Ziga to continue that run. Rocket Jr. opted to chest it down. Was that wise? Ziga! Saved again by Marcos. Sometimes it just isn't your night. And tonight has been one of those evenings for Germany. Outfoxed, outmuscled. Certainly outscored. Rivaldo. Ramelov battles on to the bitter end. Schneider. Our Germany out of ideas. The tears begin to flow for Ronaldo. That pent up emotion. Four years ago was supposed to be his night. It didn't happen in 1998. It is about to happen in 2002. Danielson to Janinho. The two substitutes running down the clock in Yokohama. Danielson hacked down by Asamoa, and that will be it. It is all over. Once again, Brazil are the champions of the world. Marcos made the saves to contribute. Oliver Kahn, after a wonderful tournament, did not have his best game. Arguably at fault for the opening goal. Two strikes in the second half from Ronaldo. And for an unprecedented fifth time, Brazil have won the FIFA World Cup. It cements their status as a powerhouse of the game. The most successful team in the history of the competition. And this brings to an end a quite remarkable tournament. The World Cup held in Asia for the first time. Co-hosted with such enthusiasm by Japan and Korea. A World Cup that was full of shocks, but no shock in the outcome of the ultimate winners. Brazil rule the roost in Yokohama.